Hey guys, welcome to, well, the kitchen table for an impromptu kitchen table electronic stare-down of the brand new IKEA Dirichera Smart Home Hub. So I just picked it up like hours ago. Um, they don't seal the box anymore, so we're gonna do the lightning fast unboxing. Here's the hub. We have cables, even, even an ethernet cable, that's nice. And the power brick. Okay, enough for that. Unboxing is done. Here's the hub. It's pretty small. Um, I taped uh, the ID if it's um, relevant. Um, there's a, just a single screw right in uh, here. This is probably made to be hanged. Uh, if you want to hang this cute little thing uh, on the wall. Nice, uh, like shirt, like tag. So, uh, of course, we have a visible screw. It would be rude if we don't take it apart. I haven't turned it on yet, so I don't even know if it works. But, of course, we're going to avoid warranties. So that's probably a T6. It is. All right, screws straight into the plastic. It's fairly tight thread. Let's see. Does it come apart this easy? Maybe. It is loosening up. I don't know if there are, if there are clips. Yeah, I think there are some clips. Either that or more screws that need to be removed. Well, that's probably a bit of a fight. Um, what if there are more underneath this um, this strip? Let's see. No, nope, doesn't seem like it. So that's not our entry point. Although there is a bit of a gap. So I do wonder if I have to remove this strip. I'm starting to debate whether or not this thing will come together or not. And yeah. It seems like um, there's also a gap right here. Huh. It's interesting. Um, let's get a flat blade. The tool of destruction. I mean, this thing is just flat blades are made for prying. It's, it's clear. Let's see if something comes loose like that. Doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Very interesting. There's actually an opening right here. I wonder if you can stick a tool and pry it up from here. Nope. Doesn't seem like it's the case. Is this is no. It's not a sticker. This is plastic. Hmm. It's an interesting challenge. Just one screw that is doing absolutely nothing. Does it twist, maybe? No, it doesn't. This stereo is starting to become a little boring, I think. Um, this is not mine, I may add. So I, I have permission from the owner to, to take it apart. Um, I don't have too many things that are compatible with, um, with matter and with thread yet. So there is not much uh, of a point in me upgrading. Yeah, it is not coming apart. I had a few scratches. Um, let's see. Yeah, they, there are clips. <laughs> Oopsie. They are really strong, but there are clips right here. I can see them like, like the regular plastic clips. They certainly didn't make it uh, easy to open, not that there would be any reason to do, do it, other than curiosity. Yeah, there we go. Wow, it's actually a fairly large um, circuit board. Um, interesting. So what do we got? Um, it seems like we have two radio devices that are like mostly identical, actually. We'll look at the part number later on. We have a uh, real-time clock battery, which is um, new. Uh, charge free didn't have it. Um, I don't have a charge free here with me, but it's it's a lot simpler. It's like this size. It's much much smaller. Um, and we also have another radio device as well from uh, Murado, actually. So two AW. We're gonna look that up uh, in a second. In fact, I think we can. Yeah. And then the other ones. 
I actually don't know who that brand is. So you can zoom in a little bit. Yeah. So I have two ends and this one here. It looks to be the same. Huh, interesting. Uh, I'm gonna look this up uh, in a little bit, but it seems to have um, dual identical radios. And in fact, they also have like these two um, set of uh, connectors here, which very well look like um, they could be like JTAG for for the device. They're, they're a bit too many. I mean, they're, they're almost uh, as much as the uh, pins that you get uh, on the radio device. Okay, there's just um, two Phillips screws and uh, let's see if there is something uh, interesting on the on the bottom. Um, there should be a, an Ethernet Phi, I guess, uh, at least. And uh, I don't know if there's... Um, what else could it be? I mean, there's going to be the application processor hidden underneath the shield. We're going to pop that uh, in a second. So... Ooh, wrong. Yeah, I'm using the wrong screwdriver. Oops. It's one of those China special screws that is uh, like not Philips, not JIS kind of things. Okay. What do we got? Ooh, more shielding. Heavy shielding, actually. Um, 2209. That's probably the. Uh, date code for this, um, R11.0, whatever that means, and it looks like, wow, this thing is shielded shut, I mean, this is a, it's a, some openings on the sides on the top, this is like heavily shielded, I don't know if we can pop this open without uh, a soldering iron, actually, um, the Ethernet jack, it's fairly big, so it probably, uh, yeah, most probably, it also contains the magnetics, so... In fact, these are probably the, the twisted pairs that go straight to the um, Ethernet uh, IC, Ethernet Phi. Uh, I don't see much in terms of um, uh, USB-C and or power supply. There's just like, like this small little um, voltage regulator, which... Uh, is it? Yeah, I don't even see an inductor, so I have no idea how that works. Um, of course, usually switch mode power supplies do have inductors. Um, it's probably gonna find uh, something underneath here then. Let's switch to a flat blade. Where did I put it? Let's get... Um, actually, it's a fairly thick board too. Let's see if we can... Take, yeah, okay. Alrighty. Ooh, so the application processor is on the bottom side. Interesting, so what do we have on the top? I was expecting it to find it here, actually. Um, it also that it looks like there are way more components than you get uh, on the trad free, so it does more than explain the increased price. This is about 60 euro. Oh, there's nothing. <laughs> it's about 60 euros, um, which is twice as much as the older one. Okay, what have we got? Um, all sorts of things, actually. Um, STM32, of course, it's probably going to have uh, an, arm, an ARM core. We're going to look at that part number up uh, in a second. Um, what else? Um, this is probably the voltage regulator. You see all the capacitors and inductors. We have a couple of crystals. Um, SMSC, this is probably the um, Ethernet controller, which could also be a USB hub, because usually SMS... Um, SMSC makes uh, those combo chips. ESMT, this is probably the RAM. And that thing, I'm gonna look it up. Again, it's also ST, lots of ST stuff here. And this um, is a, a typical um, EMMC or just an AND flash. So that's um, actually quite sizable. You wouldn't expect um, such a complete package on something so simple. Um, I don't think this device, uh, I actually don't know if this has Wi-Fi or not. I think it does have Wi-Fi. Um, trad free, I'm not sure. So this is probably going to be the, um, Wi-Fi radio, judging, 
by how simple it is. And these two are probably going to be the Zigbee radio, which um, I think I also use for Fred. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, I don't want to make this video all too long, it's, it already is. In fact, thank you if you are still watching. But um, I'm going to link the part numbers um, in the description. Actually, what is this thing? Cute little fella. It's in the, in the corner here. Hmm. Ah, the light is not really cooperating. LP something. This is probably another voltage regulator then. Yeah. Kind of looks like one. Um, yeah, if, if you've been watching, thank you so much. Um, I'll try and put it back together and um, make it look like uh, nobody's ever been in here. And um, we'll probably test it out another day. Thanks a lot for watching and bye for now.